Guys, stop, stop, stop whatever you're doing. Stop the presses. The newest camera has just come out and oh my God, it's going to take your content from here. Oh my God, okay, it's happening. Nah, you're still here. What's up everybody, what's good? This is Joe, you're watching Matsu Excel and today we're gonna to talk about what the best camera is for vlogging, for creating content and honestly, I'm gonna be that inner conscience in your head and I'm gonna tell you right off the bat, we don't need to buy something new. It is what you have right now. I know, I know, I am arguing and I'm talking to myself, but it's true. We don't need to go and spend a bunch more money on something when we have great quality gear at the tips of our hands. Hey, future Joe here, look, I apologize. I created this video and I did not tape up this mic well under my shirt. So you're gonna hear a lot of little like, like noise and I apologize in advance, but the message is still clear. All right, back to it. So Techtember just ended and we're already into Techtober and there's a lot of techs before Techvember and a lot of stuff has come out over the years. <laughs> like I'm looking at this list, right? We just recently had the iPhone 15 Pro Max that came out. We've had the Google Pixel, just to release a brand new phone with the brand new AI features and camera features. We've had, look at this list. Apple, Google, Nikon, two cameras, Canon, four cameras, Fuji, two cameras, Lumix, three, GoPro, new camera, Sony, three new cameras, Leica, if you can afford a Leica. I'm rich, bitch. Honestly, even though having the latest and greatest tech seems like you know, it's, oh, that's gonna change me, that's gonna elevate my game. I'm telling you from experience, it's not. And it's really gonna be you. Even though having the latest and greatest tech just seems to make sense, right? It's not gonna really completely change your content and make it better. I always wanna buy the latest and greatest stuff, right? But I gotta remember the saying that the suit maketh man is actually the opposite. You, it comes down, it comes down to skill and technique. What makes the content is the creator, not necessarily the gear. Skill, technique, all that stuff, that can't be purchased. The things you learn by creating and doing is what is going to elevate your content and allow you to create content no matter what you shoot with. Just because you decide to pick up the latest and greatest camera, it, all it's going to enhance is your shot from being shitty in 1080p to shitty in 4K60. But what will change stuff from being shitty is how you develop as a creator and being able to practice and own that skill, own that craft by creating content. Again, technology only goes so far. Now, I know you guys are gonna be like all up on me like, Joe, you talk about tech, you talk about the newest and greatest, the latest tech. How can you tell us not to go buy tech? Now, I'm not saying don't buy tech, don't buy the newest stuff, but be conscientious about what you're picking up and what it's really gonna do for you. If you're finding that your gear is, you're hitting a limit or wall with your gear, then you should upgrade. If you're seeing that, oh, I'm not putting the time or the effort to create videos, well, guess what? Buying a new camera, buying a new light is not going to make you make more videos. Like. That's what I tend to tell myself and come to realize really quickly that that's not the case. So what I'm saying is be smart and don't go into debt to buy everything when all you're gonna do is use it for not what you intended. There are so many creators out there who create content with some of the most like scuff or raw things, right? Like look at streamers, look at other content creators where they're creating things with some of the most basic of cameras and a lot of what they create is not about what gear they use, right? It's about the content of what, of what they're making. Nobody's gonna go watch a Mr. Beast video and be like, oh my God, what camera did he use? What settings did he use? Was that a Sony? Was that a Canon? Hmm, I don't know. That's not going to happen. If it were about how a video is made or the tools that a video is used to make, then there's no way in hell that all these creators will be blowing up on like TikTok or shorts or reels by holding a lav mic like this. Because 
this is 100% proof to tell me that it's the quality of your content versus how your content or the tools you're using to make your content. And that's really kind of the gist of it. It's not what you're using to create your video, it's how you're creating a video and why you're creating a video that's really going to make you succeed. And no piece of tech is going to make you want to do more or elevate you to do more if you're not hitting the wall that you can currently hit. Proof was in the pudding. I decided to film this in different locations, different lighting scenarios with multiple different camera pieces. Hopefully it turned out well and gives you the spark that you need to maybe put your credit card away, your wallet away and wait and think, do I really need that new piece of gear? And that's going to wrap it up for us today. My name is Joe. This has been Watson Excel. Leave in the comments of the gear you're currently using. I would love to know. And maybe I'll go check out some of your content. All right, guys, I got to go. Battery's dying and I got to go edit. So catch you guys later. Peace.